Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know you can't see me, but that's because I want to show you some things here. And I don't think you'll benefit from seeing my face because I'm not doing makeup today. So what I wanted to do was a video about what is in my travel hair care and skincare bags. Um, so I am going on a trip to Jamaica. I'm really excited. I'm leaving next Friday. Yeah. So I was just getting my stuff together and I thought I should do a video on it because it might be helpful for you guys to know what I bring when I'm traveling. Um, these are a lot of mini size products that I've gotten at Sephora, um, especially in those like Sephora favorites boxes. So I do have some mini reviews on them as well, so keep watching if you want to see that. Um, I don't have a makeup bag yet because normally I don't wear makeup when I'm going on a beach vacation. So I just bring like really, like any mascara, maybe a nude lipstick or something. But if I do end up making a specific makeup bag, maybe I'll do a video on that as well. So let me know if you want to see that. But anyway, I'll start off with this bag here. So um, I was trying to remember where I got this. I think I got it when I was in university. So that was like 10 years ago. Um, I got it at like a conference, I think. Um, and it's actually a handmade bag. And I don't know if I can pronounce the company. Yeah, I, I don't know what that says, but it's this. I'll try and find if they have a website or something and leave it below. So it says handmade in Canada. Um, I think it's really cute. And I've had this, like I said, for like 10 years and it still looks like in perfect condition. So yeah, I really like this bag. But anyway, in this bag, um, I keep like some random things, but also mostly like yeah, things you need when you're at a hotel and maybe they don't have or you run out and you need more. So I'll just pull out things randomly. The first thing I have here is this downy uh, wrinkle releaser. So I actually do find this works. So what you do is like if you pack something and it got all wrinkly, you just hang it on a hanger and you spray this and you just like pull it and it unwrinkles. It says safe on virtually all fabrics, on fabrics which may water spot, silk or rayon, test a hidden area first. So yeah, be careful if it's silk or rayon, but yeah, this is helpful when you're traveling. I do have some things that I stole from like previous hotel stays. <laughs> this is uh, just a shampoo and conditioner. It's like the hotel's brand, but I do keep these like for future travels if I don't use them up because if you guys didn't know, I have super long hair, so I do need like, this would, this might last me like a week, but yeah, it's good to have backups. So I also have some body care. Um, depending where I go, my skin, as you know, because I say it in every video, is super dry. But depending where I go, it could get like even worse, which, yeah, it's not fun. So I have this, um, deep conditioning body cream. This is just like the drugstore brand. So when you go traveling, if you're looking for any mini sizes, they often have, you know, a, a little section of just travel size. So that's where I get things like this. Um, and this is the Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Lotion Sheer Hydration. This one here. So I just like to keep these in case my skin gets out of hand. I have some facial sprays, so I have my Aveda Botanical Botanical Kinetics Toning Mist. Um, this is a toner, obviously, but you could just use it to refresh if you wanted to as well. It's for normal to oily skin, this one. I also have the one for normal to dry skin, but they actually don't make these glass travel bottles anymore, so I keep it and I just refill it with the product. So this is something I always have when I'm traveling. 
um, and then I have a mini Mac Fix Plus. This is, well, this can be used for prepping your skin before makeup, but I use it as a makeup spray. So that's why I have a mini one in there. Oh, I have some like boring things too, like, you know, um, makeup remover pads, Q-tips. I have these for like a last resort. This is um, waterproof eye makeup remover pads. They're super oily, so I just keep this as like a backup because I don't, like I said, I don't really wear a lot of makeup when I'm going to the beach, obviously. And these are waterproof, so I'm definitely not wearing waterproof makeup, but yeah. Um, I also just threw this in. If you guys saw my last haul video, I got this um, as a sample and like a big sample bag. This is the Sephora Waterproof, again, eye makeup remover with cornflower extract. I'm just bringing this because of the size, really. I'm Because my only other like micellar water is the big like Garnier one. So I'm not going to bring that. But yeah, this just saves me some room in my bag. I haven't tried it yet, so I don't really know if it's good or not. Uh, and then I have this little eye brush set. I got this in a BoxyCharm. It's by Luxie Beauty. It has like all the brushes you need for doing your eye makeup. So it looks like this. Oops, can't really tell. I actually did use this the last time I went to a hotel. I brought it with me. If you guys saw my vlog, um, my holiday vlog, I used these. Um, you guys know I really like Luxie brushes, so it's good to have like these mini ones, especially when you're, you know, traveling. You don't maybe want to bring your whole like brush roll with you. So yeah, this is something I just keep in my travel bag. I have these two facial bars, again, stole them from a previous hotel. <laughs> and then I have like, you know, these things that you might, well, <laughs> you might, you do need. I don't remember where this came from, but there was only a frozen version available. And floss, mini size, and a mini scope, which I haven't opened. I normally don't use scope but I just keep it in there because it's travel size so that was everything in this bag which was a lot so you can see it does fit a lot of things and then this bag is more like skincare um, and hair care products so this is actually this was a Sephora favorite set. It was a travel set and it came everything came in this bag which is like TSA approved. Um so you can bring it on your carry-on and it is like this plastic material so in case anything spills it won't make a huge mess. You can just clean it. So I really like this bag and ever since I bought this set I've been keeping it as my travel bag. So the, most of the products in here actually did come in that set. I just keep them in this and whenever I'm traveling I just throw this in my bag so it's super easy. Uh, I did just throw in this though because this was from another hair care set. This is the Verb Sea Spray. Windswept waves and light dry texture. So it says, Verb Sea Spray takes landlocked hair to the beach for loose, languid curls. Formulated with natural sea salt and smoothing moisturizers, this light mist infuses all hair types with oceanic waves for a breezy texture boost. So that could be something fun um, just to like put in my hair when it's damp, I guess. Yeah, but you could put it in dry hair too. Spray on dry or damp hair in sections using fingertips to twist and define loose curls. So my hair is naturally wavy, so something like this might help to make it nice. Because we will be like going out to dinner and stuff, so I don't want to look like a total, you know, hobo. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I'm just pulling out things randomly from this too. This is the Alginist Complete Eye Renewal Balm with Algeronic Acid. I don't really know um, what that is, but yeah, so it's like an eye cream. 
I only use this like if I feel like I need it. If my skin is getting dry, I might put this on. I don't usually use eye creams, but I think I should start because I am getting older and I'm seeing more wrinkles. So yeah, this is just says apply to the eye area twice a day. Use only as directed. Okay. So yeah, it's just a mini size, so there's not much information on it. But I have used it before. It didn't give me any of those bumps under my eye, so I do continue to use this. But I don't use it regularly, so I don't really have a full review on it. This is the shampoo and conditioner I'm bringing. I'm actually using this shampoo now, the full size. I actually bought the full size because I had these and I really like them but since using this now as my normal shampoo I don't like it anymore because it says hydrating shampoo but I don't find it's hydrating and I actually find it's drying out my hair and making it frizzy which is exactly what I don't want so yeah I'm after I'm done the shampoo I'm not going to repurchase it. I did also get the conditioner, but I haven't needed it yet because I was finishing another one, but I will need it in like, I think I have like two uses left. So I'm hoping when I pair the two together, it's going to work better. But for now, yeah, that's my story. But anyway, I already have these travel size, so I bring these with me. I have a Brazilian Boom Boom cream. Yes, I know it says bum bum but it's pronounced boom boom if you've seen like any other youtube videos you know what this is because it's like everyone's favorite body moisturizer it's infused with all-powerful guarana extract everyone is obsessed with this but honestly i'm not sure if i like it it's supposed to smell like caramel pistachio something is it written here? Mm, no. But, I don't know. It smells kind of strong and yeah. But anyway, I keep it because it is very moisturizing. It's almost empty actually. So it just says an addictive fast absorbing body cream that helps tighten and smooth all over. Inspired by the Brazilian's favorite body part, the bum bum. Pronounced boom boom says right there so that's kind of funny you can't see but anyway yeah that's the soul I didn't even say did I the soul soul de janeiro soul de soul de janeiro soul de janeiro I don't know soul de janeiro whatever you know Brazilian boom boom cream um this I just put in there because I probably won't use it unless I'm going to a beach and I've never used a self tanner before so yeah maybe I'll try it out so this is the Tarte Brazilians Plus self tanner also this size I thought this was like maybe for the face but it's a sample of their regular self tanner so is this supposed to cover my whole body I have no idea. I've never done self-tanning in my life, so I kind of just put it in my travel bag because like, it didn't make sense to leave it anywhere else since I'm not going to use it. But I might try it. We'll see. If not, I'll take it out, but that's where I have it for now. I have this Briogeo Rizarco Milk Leave-In Conditioning Spray reparative leave-in conditioning spray so you guys know this was in well if you watch my other videos this was in my december favorites i have the full size of this and i actually have two of these travel sizes this is one of my favorite um styling products you put it in damp hair and for me i use it as a detangler as well so yeah this is really good i have this mini tart Rainforest of the Sea Marine Boosting Mist. This is, um, I actually had the full size of this at one time. I used it all up, but I, I put the rest, what I had left, back into this because at the time I had the small one and the big one. Anyway, long story, whatever. But 
I use this as skincare. I don't like set my makeup with it or anything. So I do have that in there for using as a toner. I have this Le Labo Rose 31 shower gel that I stole from another hotel. Um, I really like the smell of this. Let's open it. Yeah, it's, if you like the smell of rose, you'll like this. But if you don't, probably not because it does smell like real roses. I have the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. This is the cleanser I use whenever I'm traveling. I really like it, but um, it might be one of those things that if I used every day, it, I could potentially see it drying out my skin because it does like foam quite a bit. Not really a foam, but it lathers. So yeah, since I only use it when I'm traveling, I didn't really notice like a full long-term effect. But for now, I really like this cleanser. And I have so many of these because Sephora puts them in like every favorites box they make. So I guess people love it. Then I have this mini Clinique Pep Start. This is a Hydro Blur Moisturizer. Um, I did like this actually. I don't really know why you'd need a moisturizer that blurs, but it actually does do that. I don't know the science behind it, but it feels nice on the skin. Then I just threw in these Clinoderm Irritant Free Gentle Protective Lotion SPF 45 samples. It says specialized care for sensitive, allergic, reactive, or dry skin. That is me. So I'm probably going to use these when I'm away. And the last two things I have, I keep them in this bubble wrap. They actually, actually, yeah, it came like this. I'll show you. This is the Caudalie Beauty Elixir. Um, this is like a cult favorite of that brand. It's just like a nice refreshing spray. It smells nice. It has essential oils in it. I will say the first time I used this, it burned so bad. It burned everything my eyes everything even though it didn't get my eyes it just burned from like being close to them and i was really scared and i thought i was having a reaction but i tried it again and i've tried it again and again since then and that hasn't happened so i don't know maybe just like my skin got used to it i have no idea but i really do like this product and then the other thing that i have is the Josie Marin Argan Oil, which I really like and use under my moisturizer. When this came in the set, it was actually with the Luna Sleeping Oil from Sunday Riley. So I took that out because I use that, not regularly, but I'm using it at night. So I don't keep it in my travel bag, but it came like that. So I keep them in this because they're glass. Because this also came, the argan oil came in that set. So I keep them in this little bag so they don't break. But yeah, that was my travel makeup. No, it wasn't makeup. My travel skincare, hair care, body care stuff. Ah, I don't throw everything in like that. That's not going to fit. So I'm going to put all this back off camera but anyway i hope you guys like this video and you maybe learned something if you have any questions about any of these products let me know down below and i will see you in my next video bye